coastline. This is Port Marion, designed and built from the 1920s onwards, but it became much more famous in the 60s as the setting for the TV series The Prisoner, part science fiction, part spy drama, often very, very surreal. This weekend, for the first time, there's a music festival here to celebrate it. I'm joined by two people who've been celebrating The Prisoner for quite some time. Uh, Steve and Tim from Six of One. First of all, we stood on a giant chess set here. Tell me what on earth is going to uh, be going on here. Well, we're going to do a re reenactment from the episode Checkmate, where uh, number six is uh, persuaded to be a pawn on the chess board where he's manipulated. So for those who aren't familiar with The Prisoner, Tim, tell us a little bit about it and why you love it so much. Well, on one level, The Prisoner is just a simple spy story. This guy retires from being a spy and then he's kidnapped and taken to a mysterious village. He doesn't know who runs the village, he doesn't know who his captors are, everyone has a number. But every week he tries to escape, he tries to find out who's in charge of this village. But there's so much else going on underneath it. There's themes about the individual, about uh, control, about education, about democracy. There's just so much to dig into it in just 17 episodes. There's a lot more going on here this weekend as well. You're doing recreations here, we've had talks, but over in the other field there are bands. Uh, how do you feel about sharing this site with a load of uh, rock fans? No worries whatsoever. The way I got into The Prisoner was through uh, actually seeing an episode of The Tube, The Laughing Prisoner, where they spent the whole episode filmed here with bands performing prisoner theme type stuff. And uh, music's been central to The Prisoner, and a lot of bands since have used The Prisoner as a reference. This resonates a lot. So having the bands here, uh, people like Richard Hawley, who's really into The Prisoner, it's just a perfect match as far as I'm concerned. And Steve, I was here last night. There was a male voice choir on there last night, slightly surreally. They were singing songs by New Order. I guess that sort of surreal sense from The Prisoners I evading this uh, festival. Well, it's... Uh, it's keeping with the surreal nature of the prison, certainly, and uh, as everybody seemed to be well up for it last night. I mean, the male, male people, male voice choir, seemed to be very uh, enthralled about having a much younger audience, which were very uh, up for their uh, brand of, of uh, singing. It's a very different festival, but there are quite a lot of these boutique little things going on around the place, and I have to say, it's quite posh, isn't it? You've heard the term glamping, I'm sure, glamorous camping. Are we guilty of that here? Yes, I think I am. I mean, the prices are reflected in that, but I think most people have come uh, to see and uh, share in the ambience of the village. For many of them, I'm sure they've never been before, so uh, for us to do the reenactments and uh, prisoner themes for the whole uh, festival is probably very good for them. Stephen Tim, enjoy the rest of the weekend. There's plenty more music to enjoy as well. Primal screenplay tonight. New Order tomorrow night. The real New Order, not their song sung by a male voice choir. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I remember that series well. It used to scare me, all those big white balls bouncing down the hill. Anyway, let's get the weather. Here's Nick Miller. Hello, it's